So I'm here with Justin Rogers, who won the 2022 Pro Fantasy Rodeo Grand Prize. He has a really, really interesting story. I'm so excited to welcome Justin to the program today. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How's it going? Good. Thank you so much for taking the time. Now, you won... Well, I'll let you explain it. So <laughs> what what did you win? Well, basically, it was it was a four-door Dodge Dually Ram truck. Um, had a custom bed on it and a, and a 24-foot aluminum stock trailer. Uh, it was the prize for a, a it was a fantasy rodeo uh, competition, and I, I, I've been trying to win this competition since I don't know 20 uh, 2008 I guess 14 years I think I played the the game. It, it's kind of it's a lot like fantasy football. Uh, just you're, you're just choosing a, a made-up team during the national finals rodeo in uh, las vegas they have it every december so if your team does the best over 10 days makes the most money then you win the grand prize and this year it was the truck and trailer or last year i guess for 2022 so that it was pretty exciting i you know it, to me it felt like winning the lottery you know i mean i was i, I didn't realize it till like four o'clock in the morning i woke up and I uh, checked my, you know, checked their website and I realized I'd won it. I mean, I was, you know, shaking and nervous and, you know, I had the jitters and I couldn't go back to sleep. You know, I, was, I had to, I had to uh, texted a friend of mine, woke him up at four o'clock in the morning, you know, he wasn't too happy about that. But um, yeah. then my wife was at the hospital with her dad. And so I texted her and probably woke her up too and told her about it. And, and uh, of course, I didn't know for sure if I'd won it until they confirmed it. You know, from, with the email. So, uh, but the next day they, they confirmed it. That we went to Decatur, Texas, uh, to go pick up pick it up the truck and trailer. That's when it got real. Was you know when you go to actually get the prize. That, yeah. that was a lot of fun. So when you weren't sure that you had won it, why weren't you sure? Um, well, you know, I mean, I checked the website and it said my team was first. Um, I never won a prize like this before. So, you know, they have an app on, on your phone. You can check your how your team is doing dur during the course of the game. And usually it'll say a certain percentage of teams rank higher than, than your team by the by the money that they've won. And so it said 0% were ranked higher than my team. I was like, nah, I've never seen that before. And then I finally had to find, you know, where it was for the whole grand prize. Uh, part of their website, and uh, it said my team name was was ranked number one. I was like, I think I won. <laughs> so it's like, to me, it felt like you know, like winning the lottery. I guess. I mean, I, I, I would assume what it, what winning the lottery would feel like. Yeah. So, so how do you win? How, how does this work? You pick uh, one teammate. You have there's eight events, and so you have to pick one teammate uh, per each event, and uh, they have, they give you like a uh, made up salary cap where you have five hundred fifty thousand, I believe, to invest in your teammates. And so there's fifteen contestants in each event, so you can't just pick the number one out of each event. So you kind of have to money manage a little bit. And um, so that's kind of what I did. I picked. Uh, I spent most of my money on my on my bareback rider and the uh, bull rider. And so then I had to kind of look for bargains, you know, to fill the other six teammates and uh, just kind of fill the gaps and just just got lucky i guess and, and I, I, I like i said i have studied quite a bit for the last i'd say five years on on power of the mind power you know manifestation uh joseph murphy neville goddard um uh, let's see wayne dyer i've read nearly all their books and uh, listened to a lot of youtube you know videos and audio books and and uh, so i'm trying to you know improve I even try to use it some going going to work, you know, trying to just try to manifest the best day that I can that I can possibly receive, you know. And, and uh, so I remember the night before, I said a little positive affirmation prayer uh, as I was falling asleep uh, for for guidance, you know, to help me pick my team the next day. And I'd also been doing Joe Dispenza's uh, meditation towards abundance, uh, receiving abundance. I've done that for like three days, I think, prior to it. Um, I was doing a six to noon uh, fasting. I, I just drink coffee 
uh, till, till noon. And uh, I've heard that might help you clear your thoughts a little better. And uh, so other than that, I say I study a lot as, as far as watch. I watch a lot of rodeo. Uh, so I think, you know, your, your subconscious probably absorbs that. Whether you whether you know it or not, you know I mean I, I definitely I made a joke when they they interviewed me when we picked up the truck and trailer and uh, I said yeah we, pretty much all we all we watch is rodeo and cartoons at my house so that you know I had a four year old daughter at the time and so now she's five but um, so if we're not watching rodeo we're probably watching some kind of cartoon but that's that's pretty much how I how I did it but that's amazing well congratulations and I have I have some questions I want to ask you about with manifestation and the subconscious mind. But before I get to that, what type of events are these with the rodeo? I mean, what, what actually are, are people doing with these, with these events? Well, I've heard it called, uh, like the Super Bowl of, of rodeo. So it's, it's like the grand, you know, last event that they have for the year. And so if, if, if the contestant does the best all through the whole season, then they're listed as, as the world champion. Uh, they get a real, real, nice, real nice gold buckle, and one one contestant won close to a million dollars last year. Uh, Stetson Wright, I believe, was his name. Well, it definitely was. Uh, he he rides bulls and he rides the the Bronx with the saddle on it. Also, he had a really good year, and I did choose him for my bull rider. But like I said, it's it's a ten day rodeo in Las Vegas every every December. They usually have it. I think it starts the first Thursday of of December, and then it goes on for ten days. And so, like I said, if your team makes the most money, so each day your contestant might win, I think it's up to $26,000 is what they get for first place now, uh, prize money. And so that accumulates, you know, for a 10 day period. And then they also receive uh, what they call the average money. So say your bull, bull rider or bronc rider had the highest scores on average for the 10 day period, then they get they can receive up to, I want to say it's like 77,000 for the average money. Uh, so my my total team made over, I think it was 1.2 million uh, in total prize money and money. But I didn't think I'd done that that well, actually, at the competition. I thought, because I, I, you can win, as like for me, I could win up to like $2,000 per night um, of the rodeo. If my team did the best just for one day, I could win $2,000. Uh, all the way down to sixth place, pay something like a hundred bucks, and uh, so I didn't win any of the day prize money, so I didn't think I'd done. My team did that well, so I, so I was really surprised when I saw my team had won first place. I was like, wow, man, that, it just blew me away that I'd actually finally won it. You know, of course, you know, shortly, shortly, you know, the, the income tax uh, thing kind of hit, slapped me in the face. I, I wasn't planning on that. And uh, I mean, I realized, you know, you had to pay tax title license. Uh, they wanted that money before I ever even got to drive the thing. But uh, within my wife at Google or something, or somebody told her that, you know, you have to claim that as uh, a prize money as other other income, you know, on your taxes. Like, whoa, that's going to be $25,000 right there. So pretty much what I got for the trailer, I've already sold the truck and trailer in March. But um, so pretty much whatever I got for the trailer, that's that's going to pay the taxes more or less. What what was the truck and trailer? How much roughly was it worth? Yeah, the ten ninety nine they sent me was a little over nine ninety nine thousand was the price value. I mean, I I got close to ninety five thousand out of it out of both of them. Um, I guess I can claim a little loss next year on the my taxes next year. Hmm. But they they uh, view the view the taxes as as income and. Yeah, and, yeah. Hmm. Other, it's considered other income, I guess. But what I've heard, most people just they can't afford the taxes uh, most times, so they, they just take the the cash value. Uh, I've heard some people that have won, you know, like a slot machine out in Vegas or something. You know, a lot of times they'll buy the car back from them and just offer them cash instead. So I tried to get that. They had a seventy-five thousand cash option. If I'd have been from Canada or or Mexico or out of the states. They said I could have took the cash option, but um, I, since I was uh, from Texas, they said, no, you got to pay, you got to take the vehicle. So I went ahead and took it. And they had a stipulation that they really want you to keep the vehicle for at least a year. But it has a lot of advertisement stickers on it. 
and uh, they but they gave me permission to sell it early since I uh, you know I think they had another kid at another competition uh, in, in uh, Fort Worth that won and he couldn't afford the taxes so they said I didn't we'll just pay you the cash and so I think that may have opened the door where I could you know sell it a little sooner that's that's pretty awesome I mean it's a uh, we we We'll put up pictures on the screen of, of the vehicle and the the win. But how this came about is is very, very interesting because you mentioned that you're very much into that you had been studying the power of the subconscious mind and people such as Neville Goddard, I believe, and Joe Dispenza, Joseph Murphy, and people that uh, teach this sort of thing. You had even done an affirmation the night before so when you actually won, how did that feel to you? Was it as if you had visualized it before or was it just? Yeah, I'd say, uh, I can't remember if I actually visualized the, the vehicle, which I didn't even know I won the trailer until two or three days later. But I want to say I visualized that night as I was falling asleep when I said my affirmation prayer. Uh, I'm pretty sure I visualized the truck because they, they you know, you can go to their website or they actually send you a magazine. Uh, after you, you compete in the competition your first year, uh, they send me a magazine every year to help you pick your your teammates. And so I'm pretty sure I visualized the truck sitting in my driveway um, outside my house. And I've heard that's, you know, a good way to to attract and, you know, and help your manifestation uh, happen faster. If you could put an emotion with that also, it helps speed it up, I think, even faster. Um, so I just, I just tried to feel grateful feel you know blessed that uh, my dream or my prayer had been answered i'd say that's off you know just super excited when i won i mean it was just un, you know a little bit of unbelief a little bit of you know nervousness and jitters and uh you know that's probably just adrenaline going you know i mean you just get hyped up you know but um i mean i don't know you could probably tell me i mean what it feel like when you found out you won the powerball Oh, I mean, it was, it felt like a dream. It felt like a very, very surreal, very hard to, I mean, it really felt like a dream. It just didn't, <laughs> felt like a dream I couldn't wake up from. Right. So it was like. That's kind of the way I felt. And then, of course, then the next day, I kind of, I don't know what it is, whether it's like a buyer's remorse thing or what, but you, I was almost afraid they were going to reverse it or something, some stipulation rule or, you know, something like so maybe they could even take it away from me. And of course, I've studied enough. You know, if negative thoughts start coming in your head like that, I just I just tried to cancel out with something positive and just like, no, this is my prize. It's I think it's meant meant to be mine, and I'm gonna claim it. It's gonna be a blessing to me and my family. And uh, it, it it all worked out. You know. I was just curious, how long have had you been studying manifestation and the subconscious mind prior to this happening? Uh, let's see, I started in 2017, I believe. Uh, that was when I first was introduced to it from a coworker. Um, you know, I stumbled through, you know, some of Tony Robbins stuff. You know, I think I read one of his books in uh, back in '92 or something. I think our library at, at the high school had had a Tony Robbins book. But you know, I, I got a just a little taste of it, but I didn't really understand it. I didn't know how to use it. And I would say once I finally got into Joseph Murphy stuff. Yeah, I started, you know, being able to put it to use and, and start seeing some results from it. But, um, like I said, I use it even going to work, uh, trying to just, you know, have a safe day or try to get uh, the best train possible that I can get. Um, I, I just use those positive affirmation prayers as when, when I'm falling asleep to try to uh, manifest for the next day. And that's, that's basically all I do. Hmm. And you you conduct trains, is that right? Yeah, I'm a locomotive engineer, so I, I'm the one that has to drive it. You know, you just hmm. manipulate the throttle and the, and the, the brakes and, and uh, trying to maintain the train speed. A lot of people think the conductor drives it, but it's actually the engineer that does all the hard work. But now the conductor has to do the work on the ground, and uh, but the, yeah, the engineer actually drives it. Luckily, we don't have to wear those old engineer hats anymore. We can, you know, we can wear a baseball cap or whatever we want, you know. Well, I have a million questions about that, but we were talking about your 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 big win here today. Right. So the day that you won, was there anything 
unusual or what was your state of mind the day that you won? Um, I, I was kind of like what you said. I just uh, felt like it's kind of been a dream, you know, I just couldn't believe that it actually, you know, yeah. come to life, you know, part of my reality. Um, so it was pretty exciting, you know, with the, yeah. uh, I wasn't even sure what the prize was worth. So I started getting on, you know, the, the websites trying to see what, a, I've never had a Dodge pickup truck so I, I was trying to find out what the website said it was worth you know and as a brand new one and uh and then the trailer i had no idea what the trailer was worth i think the trailer retail was like thirty-one thousand, and uh you know depending on the options on the on the truck it could have been anywhere from a hundred thousand to seventy thousand uh come to find it was uh i think the truck was valued somewhere around seventy one thousand. um so and and what about prior to winning? What about the day that this was happening before you won? What was your what was your mindset? Did, uh, did, did you think this could happen? Did you think this was going to happen, or or what were you? What was going you know, through? You? You know, I think the other years uh, that I played the competition, a lot of times I would put on Facebook or something, you know, for my friends that show them a picture of this is going to be my my new truck, you know, or whatever, you know, kind of bragging before it ever even come to fruition and this that year or last year that when i won it i didn't actually do that I thought, i'm just gonna play it cool not try to brag on myself just try to stay humble and just try it that way you know i, I do remember i put when I, was, when I was picking my team i had a yellow notepad and i put at the top of it 2022 20, winning uh contestants i think is what i put as a title right above my my teammates that I was going to pick. I picked two teams, um, and uh, the team that I didn't bet the most on actually won. So uh, they have several prize packages you can uh, enter. I tried to enter the other one. You can get like a Vegas competition or Vegas trip. Uh, you can get a, uh, a nice belt buckle or whatever uh, that says you're the winner or whatever. And I had like a nice jacket. Uh, I think I had a one year they had a signed guitar from, uh, I think from George Strait. So a lot of different prize packages, but so I ended up, you know, I didn't, I didn't choose the most on the, on the team that I, I had the least faith in actually in the team that won. Um, I thought I kind of messed up a little bit on my money management, but um, I'd say the day that I picked the team was just kind of like any normal day. You know, I just wasn't, I wasn't all that excited or, cause you never really, no, I mean, there's a lot of luck that goes into that. I, I don't know what the odds, uh, you know, on the on the competition. You like say eight different events, and you've got the livestock that comes into play. You, you know, and they they randomly draw bronc or bull or steer or whatever the, the contestants have to perform with. And so um, I couldn't even do the math as far as the, the, and I don't know how many contestants entry forms they have. Also, you know, as far as um, for to, to win the prize. And then people vote on on who the winner is. Is that how that works? Or? No, it's, it's decided uh, usually either by the high score or or by uh, your know, fastest time on the on the time events um, for the, for the rodeo. So it's it's definitely recorded and you know stamped in the record books. When, um, and then it, for the for the fantasy team, it's just based on how much your team makes overall, you know, prize money over the over the ten day period. Well, congratulations again. And how did how did people react when they found out that you won? That's one question. But second to that, did anyone know that you were into manifestation and, and that sort of thing? And if so, how did they react as well? Um, I try to keep it a secret for the most part on, on the railroad. I mean, I tell some of the conductors I work with that are interested in it. Um, but for the most part, uh, you know, I mean, of course, everybody, you know, my friends and family on Facebook or whatever uh, were pretty excited, congratulating me. And, and um, you know, my wife couldn't believe it at first. You know, we were both in, you know, kind of in denial. You know, just couldn't believe, you know, and then we started trying to figure out where we're going to park it. <laughs> we're, we're right down, you know, in a residential area, the truck wouldn't even fit in my garage. It wouldn't even fit in the driveway. So, as a, I mean, it's over 20 foot long as a four door, you know, long bed dually. So, you know, we're trying to plan where we're going to park the trailer. And luckily, a friend of mine had uh, some acreage around his house. He, he offered, you know, right away to let me park it, the trailer at his house. 
it was, you know, this excitement, disbelief, or I don't know what you'd call it. Like, like you, like you said, it kind of just felt like a dream as far as uh, I just couldn't believe it. Your story is very, very intriguing. I really, really appreciate your time. I'm so happy for you. Is there anything else that you wanted to say today that I just don't know enough to ask or that you just wanted to say today? Yeah, I also wanted to include that uh, after I watched your interview with Mark uh, Houghton, um, I started watching his YouTube channel. I bought his book, and I think it's good to learn from other people that have won the lottery and or, or won prizes, and I think just watching his and hearing about his story helped me believe that it is possible to win a car, or, you know, win enough money to buy your dream vehicle. And, um, and reading his book, you know, also helped me. I, I've started doing some of the things he mentioned in his book. One thing I really like, he said, he, he starts signing the back of his lottery tickets as soon as he buys them, just like they're, they're winners and they're valuable. And he keeps them in a, keeps them in a vault or, you know, a gun safe or something. Uh, and pretends that they're like winning lottery tickets, you know, already. And uh, so I started doing that. Um, actually, I started winning more off, off my quick picks. I haven't hit the grand prize yet, but um, I have noticed, you know, getting some getting more winners after I started doing that. Uh, so I, I just wanted to add that that I, I appreciate you interviewing people like like Mark and and uh, Cynthia Stafford. I, you know, I read her book. I, you know, I've, uh, I've studied several a lot of the, the, the other gentleman from uh, Canada that won the fifty million. I can't remember his name. Uh, I read book, studied his, you know, and I just wanted to know what it felt like, you know, to win the Powerball or, or you know, a lottery prize. And um, I think that really helped, I think, open the door to get to the next level, I think, for, for, for my case. Anyway. Wow. Well, I really, really appreciate your time. Your story is very interesting and inspiring and I, I really appreciate you sharing it today. Well, thanks for having me. I, I hope I can come back. If I, if I ever win the lottery, I hope I can come back and share that story. Definitely. I look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching this testimonial. Let me know in the comments, what did you think of this video? I love checking out your comments. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Now, if you have a story of overcoming the odds or anything that you think would be a good fit for this channel, go ahead and email my team today for consideration. I will put a link to the email address in the description of this video. There are new videos and interviews coming soon. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when they come out. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.